This video will demonstrate how to modify default values in the implant model for the vegetable and melon sector and to replace those values with newer numbers. In this case, it's going to be the 2012 Ag Census values. Many people use implant as their modeling system for doing local foods impact analysis, but often the system needs to be modified. The numbers that are in the sector either aren't correct for the situation we're analyzing or they don't quite reflect what the local economy really is. This is very easy to do. Implant is a completely transparent and easily modified system. One just simply needs to go through the proper procedures and you can always change your model. Now this exercise is going to show us the basic steps for putting in or replacing the, the default values with newer values from the 2012 Ag Census. I'm using Kane County, Illinois as my demonstration county. Here's what needs fixing. Implant reported for the vegetable and melon sector in Kane County just seven jobs and a whopping $4.8 million in output in 2011. But the 2012 Ag Census data tell us that there were 24 farms, not seven jobs, but 24 farms, and that those farms collectively had $2.34 million in sales. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of these numbers on the left and replace them with the information that's on the right. We first begin with a model of the Kane County economy, which I have right here. Now to modify this sector, we're going to go down to where it says Customize, Study Area Data, and we're going to click on that. And the Vegetable and Melon Farming sector is number three. We're going to click on that. And you can see that the vegetable and melon sector is populated with exactly the numbers we want to replace. Seven jobs, $4.88 million worth of economic output. We need to replace those numbers with the numbers from the Ag Census. But we also need to come up with a new estimate for the total number of jobs that we're going to have in this economy, as well as estimates for these, comp these components of value added. So initially, I need to replace the existing vegetable and melon output with my 2.342 million in sales that we got from the Ag Census. I also, though, need to come up with new job numbers. The Ag Census said that there were 24 farms producing vegetables and melons. So I'm going to assume each farmer is one vegetable and melon producing job. I'm also, in this case, assuming the farmer needs two-tenths of a job as part-time seasonal help. So my total jobs that I'm going to be putting into this model will be 24 jobs times 1.2 equals 28.8 jobs. Next, I need to allocate the employee compensation, proprietor's income, property incomes, and indirect tax payments, all of those components of value added. I need to allocate that information into the model as well. This is a screen grab of what we're going to be modifying. And what I'm looking at right now is the national per worker numbers for each one of these categories all the way over here on the left. And this tells me how much is being spent per, per worker in output, employee compensation, proprietor's income, etc. as we go down here. So over here, I can figure out either the proportionate composition of value added relative to output or you could say it a different way, per dollar's worth of output, how much money is being spent for employee compensation, proprietor income, other property income, etc. So I'm using this national allocation right now to project what I think these values should be for Kane County, Illinois. So I'm multiplying times $2.342 million each of these percentages of value added to get these amounts, and these amounts are going to be entered into our modified model. Now we return to that part of the model where we're going to modify the study area data. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click here that say we're going to edit the totals because that's what I've calculated is the total values. My new output value is going to be $2,342,000. The new employee compensation value that we calculated is $308,397. The new proprietor's income is $686,146. Other property income was calculated at $226,705. And the taxes on production and imports, that's a negative value. That was estimated at $13,547. The reason that's negative in the model, it's because 
Oftentimes, farmers receive more public support, government support, than indirect tax payments, and that number comes out to be negative or an offset to value added. Now, I'm going to click on Update right now, and there's something that I haven't done yet. I still haven't put in the total number of jobs. That was 28.8. 28.8. I'm going to go back down, Enter, and I'm going to click Update again and make sure that my numbers are right. I have 28.8 jobs. I have the right amount of ag sales from the 2012 census, uh, ag census, employee compensation, proprietor income, the other elements of value added are all correct. And I'm left with $1,207,701 worth of total value added, the remainder of which is going to be the uh, expected payments to intermediate expenditures. Now I need to save this. We want to save this, and when we save this, we get a message down at the lower left-hand part of the screen, and it says, your implant model has been changed. You will need to reconstruct your model. So to do that, we go up here to Options, click on Options. We're going to construct the model all the way through the multipliers. And while that's happening, what we're going to get then are all of these numbers entered into our model. The model is then going to be rebalanced and recalculated, and I'm going to have a new vegetable and melon sector with the appropriate multipliers for conducting impact analysis. And now that the model has been built all the way through, we can click on Study Area Data. We can look over here, number three, the vegetable and melon farming sector, and we can see that all of the values that we just entered in are in the model. So what do we do with this? Well, we have a model that's been reset, and we're able now to do economic impact analyses for some type of scenario or some type of projection or some type of local foods change situation. Um, the local foods multipliers have been localized, calibrated to your area, and they reflect or they're related to the rest of your regional economy. Now, this was just an initial adjustment. This is just a basic adjustment to the modeling system. Many situations require much more data, more modifications of the modeling system, more finagling with the situation that you're trying to study. Most importantly, they require well-thought-out scenarios or analysis for the situations that we're measuring.